What's up guys? I'm back here with the Xterra. She's been running great, but recently she has a check engine light. Uh, pulled the codes. It's a P1441 for EVAP leak in the purge system. Uh, does not mean the purge valve itself is bad. It's just somewhere there's a leak in that system. So let's check it out. So the way I think this works on this vehicle for the purge system, uh, you have this line right here. And this is where the purge system purge system will get the uh the vacuum from it runs down here this is your purge valve so this could be an issue um it should be closed right now when the vehicle's turned off or uh it should only open when it has a signal now if it's still open even without that signal then that's actually an internal vacuum leak going f through these two hoses uh this hose right here runs back all the way back to the gas tank now there's going to be another valve back there by the gas tank which vents to the atmosphere so you know when when temperature rises outside your fuel tank doesn't pressurize so this is that valve that's on the back of the vehicle by the fuel tank um, this is the vent valve and it should be uh, open right now with the vehicle off but once it gets a signal this valve should close so if it's not closing then again just like the perf valve that's going to be an internal vacuum leak of course, any one of these hoses could be bad. And um, just so for reference, where you know where this is at, I uh, think this is the charcoal canister. It's either this one or this vent right here. I'm not sure which one has a charcoal in it. But um, this is underneath the back of the vehicle where the spare tire is. So you got to pull down the spare tire to get to it. So what's the best way to find a vacuum leak? Uh, you can use a smoke machine. And so how that works, you would pull this line off right here and you inject smoke into these lines and all through here and you'll see if any smoke's coming out of any of these joints or if a line is cracked this is actually just a cover so i don't think this is really a crack inside it could be though um so you'll you'll see uh, any type of smoke coming out of these lines um we really need to see if smoke is going through the entire system so to do that you would go back to the rear of the car where that vent is and see if smoke's coming out of there or you can open up your uh, your gas filler cap and see if smoke's coming out of there. If you see smoke coming out of those two places, then you know you've filled up the entire system and now you can start looking for leaks. However, a smoke machine can be really expensive. Those things range from like three, four hundred dollars all the way up to a grand. So I bought something off of Amazon for about 35 bucks. I don't know if it's gonna work, but hey, let's try it. So this is what I got, um, 35 bucks off of Amazon. It is a Chavette DJ Hurricane 700. It's a fog machine right there. Fog machine, water-based. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the sensors. Um, but so it's, it's just like, like a Halloween store fog machine that you would set out with your Halloween display. Um, I don't know. We're going to try it out. I've never done this before, but uh, it's cheap enough to, to give it a shot, I guess. So this thing has... Here's your fog fluid and instructions. What's this? I guess the handle maybe. Comes with a uh, remote control. Looks like this is where you put your fluid in. And then right here is where the fog actually comes out. And I think it gets really hot right here. So i uh, got to find something that's not going to melt, uh, that can take that heat. But also I need to reduce the size from this to something that will fit on the hose of the vehicle. Um, right now I'm thinking maybe a heater hose. And I should have enough room here to actually clamp it down. And then all I have to worry about is just reducing the size down. I found something that might work. This is 3 quarter inch uh, heater hose. And I put it on there and it's stuck on there pretty good. I'll go ahead and still put that uh, hose clamp on and then I found another piece of hose that reduces the size and again it's in there pretty good um, I might just put some RTV in here to seal that up and then all I got to find is just something to put in here to reduce to the line on the vehicle all right guys I think we finally got this thing figured out yeah I think that's gonna work. Yeah. 
All right, I guess we'll try it out on the car. All right, so I got this thing coupled down. That's just a compressor fitting I'm using. And I think that should be the size that would fit on the hose in the vehicle. So I'm gonna hit this. But this is the problem. I'm not getting any fog out when it's coupled down the size like that. If I pull that out, you know, then it works fine. Now I thought it was the metal, but I also tried using some pieces like this that are just rubber. And it was the same issue. So I'll hook it up to the car, but uh, I'm losing confidence. All right, so I'll give this a shot, but what I saw from earlier, I'm not sure this is going to work. So here's it just disconnected, shooting out smoke. Now I'm just going to kind of loosely put this in here. And I'm just going to hold this down for a while. And it should be filling up that whole purge system. But I think every time, you know, you decrease the size of these hoses, there's something with the water vapors that just doesn't work. So, yeah, there's no smoke coming out of there. Or there. So, nope. The uh, fog machine does not work as a smoke machine. And with that, I'm gonna close out this video where we found out the fog machine does not work as a smoke machine. Uh, behind me are materials to actually build a smoke machine, which I'll be doing in the next video uh, so I can finally diagnose these uh, codes. So catch me in the next video and I will see you next time.